How's it going, guys? If you're new here, hello. I'm Julia Rollick. I'm an editor and a writer. I do videos on all sorts of things. I've done videos on mental health. I've done videos on makeup. I've done videos on games. I've done videos on writing. Once in a blue moon. I do videos on all sorts of things because I have all sorts of hobbies and interests. And so I just do videos on all the things I love. But if you have things you'd love to see me do videos about, tell me in the comments down below. I always read my comments. I don't get many to begin with, so there's not that much to read. But the fact is, I really want to hear from you guys, hear what kind of videos you like, what you'd like to see from me, all that sort of stuff. But for now, today is Monday. I normally don't film or, sh or share a video on Monday. Um, normally my videos are Wednesday and Sunday, which my dad noticed is the same as another YouTuber I watch. I don't know if it's because I watch him, I got used to the schedule and I just started using the same schedule, or if it's just a fluke. I really don't know. But on Wednesdays I do a video about one of my random interest hobby type things. It varies a lot. It can be a story time, it can be um it can be about stuff. All my videos are sit down videos right now, so but I'm hoping to change on in the future. I uh I'm going to try to use my cell phone to make a video for this week or next week. We'll see if that actually works, since I can't edit for my life. <laughs> but um, this is all not important right now. Today is my usual Sunday video, which is a week in review. And last week was just so chaotic that I feel like I still have to make a video about it, even though it's already passed. And I will include today as part of this video just because it's already almost 5 o'clock in the evening. Even though the sun is so bright, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's almost 5 in the evening. And I'm doing this video now. So, let's get to it. I forgot I can't snap. Okay, um, this week has been a bit of a... Not a joy ride, but a roller coaster, I want to say. I've spent many days with migraines, so many days. I mean, that's nothing new from week to week. That's just something I live with. My dad found a medication he thinks might help me. And so we talked to my doctor about that. But that was on Friday, so I'm going to save that for later. Um, the first thing that happened that was off killed her this week was on Tuesday my dad had mentioned I should go to a nail salon because I had been one in a very long time and they were finally open again because New Jersey hit that part of the mile wall thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, New Jersey opened up nail salons and stuff so I walked to a nail salon because there are a ton of them right on the highway that I live near. And uh, I went into the first one I could find. I was already very tired at that point from the walk. And uh, they had a sign that said walk-ins walk available. And I was like, yay, I can get this done easily. But what I didn't know was there was a sign that also said appointment only. But it said it right near where they were talking about waxing and stuff. So I thought that meant she needed an appointment to get waxing done. And I wasn't going for waxing, so I didn't care. But when I got inside, first it turned out my, my uh, mask wasn't quite high enough. I thought it was high enough, but apparently it wasn't. Secondly, he told me, no, appointment only is for everything. So uh, I got the prices so I could tell my dad about them when I got home. And then I left. So basically, I walked there for nothing, it felt like. I was too tired to go to another nail salon and try again, <laughs> so I just went home exhausted, a little embarrassed that I didn't think of asking places if they had walk-ins beforehand. Um, and that was Tuesday. Today, I know I'm jumping around a lot, but today I did get my nails done at the salon. I called them expecting to need a week in advance or something, so I was going to make it for next week, and they said, are you available at 1 o'clock today? And I just sat there shocked. 
Who would have thought it was that easy to get an appointment <laughs> at the best nail salon in my town? And to be fair, best nail salon in my town is three stars. I'm not saying this is a super high class place. My point is, A, they were cheaper. B, they actually had, did appointments over the course of a day. So I was able to get my appointment, go there. I admit it was a very long walk because it was like the fourth nail salon I passed. <laughs> and it was a little bit out long for a walk for me, but I did it. I uh, walked home after getting dried and stuffed, and I had really bad Charlie worse while I was drying my nails, and that was really fun. Um, I say facetiously, but uh, I walked home, went to 7-Eleven to pick up some snacks because I was really hungry. I didn't end up eating those snacks until I got home, mind you. Um, I got some macarons because I had never had macarons before and I really wanted to try them. So I said, screw it, I'm eating macarons. Um, I also got a fudge brownie that I'm not sure if it's good for my dad, but either way, if he cheat, has a day where he decides to cheat, I figure we can share it. Then I went to Walgreens because I was like, I need to stay in the cool air and I want to get some frozen stuff. So I got my frozen stuff. There was a sale on the mini on the drumsticks and the mini drumsticks. So I bought two of those right away. Got my dad some chicken egg rolls that he loves from Walgreens. They are really good guys. Um, I also really like their mozzarella sticks. I didn't buy those because I didn't really feel need for them, but I know they're good. Anyway, um, got those. I got a Fit Kitchen teriyaki chicken for myself because I really like it, and I have been in for fish sticks, which is basically the main thing we have in the freezer right now because Meals on Wheels is awesome and gave us food. But, uh, so yeah, that was that. Then I ended up so tired from that that I end up getting a lift home, even though my home is very close to Walgreens. I mean, when I say close, I, it's less than a half mile. I think it might be exactly half a mile, actually. But the fact is, it's not that far. But I couldn't handle the walk any further. So, that was today. On Friday, I went to see my doctor. He is going to do my depot shop for me, which is great. I uh, ha also got him to give me a prescription for a new medication for migraines that is brand new, name brand only, and extremely expensive. So the likelihood of me actually getting it is slim to none. But it was worth a shot. So I got that done. We went to eat for a little while while we were waiting for our will call from my ride transport thing and uh, we finally went outside after we ate we stayed on the bench in the shade but in a place where we could easily see all the cars coming and uh, we never got our ride after an hour and a half of waiting for our ride I called the company they said someone called someone had called in and said that my ride was cancelled. I was very confused about this. And the story just gets a little weirder. So we had to wait for another half hour for the driver to come back. We saw a car that we couldn't read the decal on so we figured it wasn't for us. He was waiting for us for another half hour while we were waiting for him. This time they just said, hey, he's there. We don't know why you haven't met him with him, but he's there waiting for you. Finally, we found that it was that car and stuff. So we got to the car. We asked him what happened. Apparently, this other woman came up to the car. He asked for me by name. She decided to say that she was me. And uh, when he asked where she was going to double check, she said, uh, I mean... I'm just canceling the ride right now. I'm going home with a friend. That's apparently what she said. And so without thinking of asking any further questions, he left the 
hospital, and so we didn't even know he had been there, which is because Logistier didn't give them my phone number. He had only had the phone number for the doctor's office, and the doctor's office only knew we had left their office, so they couldn't help any. And, uh, yeah, so when he came to pick me up the second time, he actually made me answer those questions and asked my birth date. So, apparently this kind of issue has been happening a lot lately, because as there's more traffic from things being opened up, there is also a lot of people who uh, don't want to have to wait for a long time for a ride to come pick them up. So, they try to steal other people's rides. And it works sometimes, apparently. The driver had just the other day driven a woman home who it wasn't her home and the, he was very confused when he, she said this isn't my house and finally he realized this is the wrong woman <laughs> but uh so that's what happened on Friday I was really pissed off honestly because I felt like my identity had almost been stolen to a degree and I mean, just the fact that someone would do that and cancel someone else's ride just because they can't get the ride to give them one, that's just horrible, honestly. That person is a horrible person to me. That is not what you do. I'm sorry, it's just not. Then yesterday, part of the reason I didn't get this video up yesterday is my computer was having severe issues. I've been having computer issues for a while now. My uh, space on my hard drive is almost completely gone, like it was gone for a very long time, and uh, because of that my computer has been flaking out. My dad finally decided to try to fix it after my Bluetooth stopped working again, and uh, he updated all the drivers, which took forever, so I spent most of my time watching it and reading some manga. Um, let's see, what else? Did a bunch of driver updates. I had to reinstall Discord because Discord decided it didn't want to open unless it was during the boot process. And uh, it also decided that I didn't like one of my emotes. So uh, I noticed when I reinstalled it, the emote that went missing was back. I don't know if that's a fluke or what, but I'm really happy to have it back because it's my favorite emote. And uh, I was really upset to not have it. So, uh, that was that. Uh, besides that, today has been an uneventful day. We've had a lot of phone calls to make. I have even more phone calls to make tomorrow. And uh, I have a lot going on coming up. Camp NaNoWriMo is coming. I have so many things to plan. And that's why one of the things I'm going to try to do this week is make a uh, Plan With Me video where I'll show you my favorite principles. Unfortunately, I don't know where all of them are from anymore, so I will make a disclaimer about that and hope that is enough and tell people if you know where it's from, please tell me. But uh, I'm going to try to do a video of that and uh, hopefully that will be fun. It will be on my cell phone so the video quality will be even crappier than usual, but it's still something. It's an idea I had. So uh, I hope you look forward to that. Assuming it, I get it to work. Um, and that's basically all I have to talk about today. Uh, as usual, tell me anything you want to talk about in the comments. You can tell me about your week. You can tell me about videos you'd like to see. You can tell me about things I should plan to do. If you have any ideas. Because Camp NaNoWriMo is my big plan. And uh, it's going to be a rough month. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. I'm sorry for keeping you so long. Thank you so much for watching all the way through, and I hope I see you on Wednesday. Take care.